now I'm gonna tell you what filters are like I said I would in the previous tutorials part um, I already have the sheet open and fireworks and flash open so if you don't already get then do so um, we're gonna use the same pose as last time just go cool uh, I'm only gonna use one pose because it doesn't really matter if it's animated or not so you still get the point copy go away okay Now I'll paste that in here. Remember, it's slower because of the recording, and it also glitches a lot. So don't mind that. Well, I'm gonna break apart. Zoom in. Let's yeah. get rid of that. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger too. Scale and um, scale rotate in 200. Just like last time, if you follow the other tutorials. Now you have to com convert this into a symbol by either pressing F8 or convert to symbol. For filters, it has to be a movie clip. So, no button, or, well, no graphic. I don't know if it works for button, but it has to be a movie clip. So, do that and press enter or OK. After, uh, convert it to a movie clip and now I'll go down into the filter section and this will be if, it, if it's not a movie clip I mean yeah not a movie clip then it'll look like this so if it's highlighted that means you can add a filter now press the add a filter button and you have these options I don't really know what presets are yet um, and this is obviously self-explanatory and these are the filters you can do in Flash. You can do more in like Photoshop or something, but for Flash, uh, this is all you got. And in Flash, you can manipulate these in the animation it itself, so it's kind of cool too. So a drop shadow is basically a drop shadow. It gives it a drop shadow. And you can mess with it, make the quality higher, make it big, uh, make the drop shadow bigger. Uh, make it more blurry like, make it blurrier right here could change the color make it a knockout which will do that and inner shadow uh, you can add you can combine but in inner shadow will make the glow go inside instead and it can hide the object which will obviously make it disappear uh, now a, um, a blur that's pretty obvious what it is uh, quality high it'll make the object blurrier <coughs> like so if you want to make the blur kind of only in an up motion deactivate the lock by just clicking on it if you want to make the blur in going uh, in up uh, up and down direction you mess with the Y axis alone and leave the is um, X axis and zero in order to blur up or, and if you want to blur it from left to right, kind of like a motion blur, then you must DX. You see, so and it doesn't even ha it doesn't matter if it's animated or not, it'll still work as long as it's a movie clip. And yeah, you can figure out what the rest are on your own. I don't think I need to explain it anymore. Glow is a cool one, one that most likely you will use a lot makes it glow. You can make it a knockout which will make the object disappear and only the glow appears. So it'll outline it'll just the outline of the glow appears. Or an inner glow or it'll glow inside of him instead of outside. Like, or, like so it'll glow inside. You can mess the settings to make it look as good as good as you want. You can change the color. You get the point. Um just uh, there's only only two more things to say is don't ever overuse them because of course file size and lag don't overuse the fil the filters try to keep it down low on on filters and if and again if you're if the filter is not gonna be anima animated like uh, the uh, like say you wanna make a glow 
Uh, let's let me show you an example. Better yet, a blur. Better. Uh, hi. You wanna make? Um, say this. Put the blur like a lot. He'll pretty much do like a bunch of uh, just scraped all um on the screen. Get add a couple of frames. Press F6 or right click. Insert keyframe. Create a motion swing. In the beginning, he's all blurred up and in the last frame we can go here and then put it to zero and then he's back to normal and then when you press enter or control enter to see what happens that happens and make it faster or slower and it'll look a lot better if you ease it like um, ease, it, ease it in I guess or ease it out whatever um, so that's that's what that's the good thing about having filters in Flash. But if it's only gonna be like one still image, I highly recommend you add the filter in like fo in Photoshop. I highly recommend that, or in Fireworks, but most better Photoshop, because it'll you won't have any lag, and also the file size won't increase as much. And also, don't ever overuse it in every, any every single scene, because I see a lot of people raping the filters for no absolutely no reason so there's that you can use it on text to look a little cool there oh yeah text you don't you don't have to make a text a movie clip oh, and I might as well tell you how to do text now it's just like in paint or something just grab click on the text tool right here um oh that'll happen when, let's make a new layer better new layer oh sorry and just click anywhere. Here are the the things. The settings will be down here. So just click on um, there and just um a text or you can automatically add filters without having to turn it into a movie clip. And you can also create tweens. I I think without having to make it into into a clip. Um. So yeah, for text, it's all it's automatic. Don't you don't have to convert it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay, now we're <coughs> up to the almost last part of the tutorial. Uh, yeah, I have a new Camtasia now. It might be less laggy, but the um and stuff. But um, this this I don't know why this version doesn't even have auto auto pan. I don't know why would they take off a, a good feature in the newer version. This doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna have to manually zoom from Windows. Um, built-in zoom thingy so bear with me at least it works so we're gonna make two um, um, sprites interact if most of you should already figure out exactly how to do this but if you still need help well I, um, that's what I'm here for I guess so I start with the usual um, well, well first let's get the, uh, the guy who's on the offensive which would be just for this example, Kinshiro. I have a bunch of stuff here. This is how I made Kenshiro freak out. I instead of just copying and pasting, I saved it from Photoshop. Okay, so now that he's here, that I'm um for the an for what I'm animating his fists and motions. I'm just gonna fast forward. So yeah, fast forward. I'm about to fast forward. Oh yeah, and one more thing, make a new layer always. Just for now, I'm going to name it. And now, insert new symbol. I'm going to make it a graphic, because I don't really need a movie clip for this right now. Um... And now I'm going to fast forward. <laughs> 